guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's back to school season. A lot of you guys are just back in school or you're starting really soon. So I wanted to do a back to school themed video for you guys. So today I'm showing you healthy and delicious lunch ideas that are also packable and portable so you could bring them with you to school and you don't need to reheat them or anything like that. This is also great if you work in an office every day and you need to bring your lunch. If you guys are new here, I do consider my channel a healthy lifestyle channel and I do healthy recipe videos about every five or six weeks. So if this is something that you enjoy, definitely make sure you're subscribed so you could see my upcoming healthy lifestyle and recipe videos in the future. So if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family who are going back to school or work in an office job who might also enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get into my healthy packable lunch ideas. The first lunch we're going to make are quinoa lettuce wraps. These are so delicious and refreshing. So first start with your lettuce. Iceberg, butter, or bib lettuce works best. Tear off several leaves and put them in your Tupperware. Next is cooked quinoa. You can cook it yourself. It takes about 15 minutes or so. Or to make things even easier, you can find it pre-cooked. I get these from Costco. And quinoa is great because it's full of protein and amino acids. Then for the toppings, I like to add shredded carrot, sliced cucumber and some pre-cooked grilled chicken, but the chicken is totally optional. It just depends on what you personally like. Now I make a quick peanut sauce using powdered peanut butter or regular peanut butter mixed with sesame dressing to whatever consistency you like for your sauces. And let me tell you, this sauce is so good. It just takes this over the top. And whenever you're ready to eat, you just assemble it all together onto your lettuce, drizzle on your sauce, fold it all up. And I'm telling you, these are so, so good. You guys have to try them and they're also extremely easy to make. What do you mean? Next is my favorite salad that I've been eating every single day. So start with your greens of choice. Then I add shredded carrot and I just buy it pre-shredded to make things easier. Then a chopped up gala apple and this adds that sweetness and crunch. And I found that gala apples in particular are the best for salads. I don't know why, just trust me on this. And just like with the lettuce wraps, you can choose to add some cooked chicken on top as well, but that's totally up to you. So what makes this really good and worth mentioning is the dressing. I found that using a specialty flavored vinegar and olive oil is the secret to making a salad taste amazing. So this is grapefruit flavored vinegar and lemon flavored olive oil. You don't have to use this exact brand or type, but you can find something similar at a specialty store. And to be honest with you, I never really liked salad until I started using this as a dressing and now I eat it every single day, sometimes twice a day. So for the sides, I put mixed nuts to make this a little bit more filling and to give it some added protein. And then I also added some dates, which are like nature's candy. They're so good. And also dried apricots. What you make me say. I, I can't find the word. And in case you guys are curious about the containers I'm using for these lunches, I found them on Amazon for around $10 and I like that they're collapsible and they come with a spork, which is pretty awesome. So I will have them linked in the description box. Next is a veggie pasta salad. I like to use brown rice or quinoa pasta just to make it a little bit healthier. So I put the cooked and cooled pasta into a bowl and to that I add a bunch of veggies. So grape tomatoes that are sliced in half, chopped green bell pepper, red onion, cucumbers, and my personal favorite, sliced olives. So for my sides, I add some hard boiled eggs just for added protein to this dish. And at some stores, you can even buy pre-cooked hard boiled eggs. They don't taste quite as good, but they're super convenient. And last, I add some pomegranate seeds and these are full of beneficial antioxidants and taste really good as well. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, have a little crunch to them. Then when you're ready to eat, I just drizzle some Italian dressing on top and it is so tasty and you can make a big batch of this in advance and eat it throughout the entire week. So this last recipe is not quite as healthy, I'll admit, but I had to include it because it's my favorite sandwich ever. So start with some bread. Ciabatta is best, but they didn't have it at my local grocery store. Then add some cranberry chutney and you could find this near the jams and jellies in your grocery store. 
Then add some sliced turkey and to that, top it off with a slice of brie. And if you can get to a microwave or an oven to melt the brie on top, it makes it even better and it's just so gooey and delicious. So for the sides, I use some edamame hummus or whatever type of hummus you like and some sliced green pepper and cucumber. And lastly, I put a mandarin orange in a mix of dried cranberries and cherries. So whenever you wanna treat yourself, I highly recommend you try making this sandwich. This flavor combination is just so tasty. You guys will absolutely love it. All right, so those are my recipes for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and it helps share the video to more people. So I would really appreciate it. And also please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I will have all of the other healthy recipe videos I've done in the past linked in the description box. So if you want even more recipe ideas, check there. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye. Hey babe, I'm making a salad right now. Did you want one too? Sure, what's in it? It has spinach, apple, carrot, and my special dressing. I like it, that sounds good. Except no apple, no carrot, and substitute the spinach for pork ribs.